Waterwork.com, and today we're taking a look at the Samsung Active Smart PC 700T. And um, basically, we're, it's a clamshell style, I would say, um, laptop with a detachable touchscreen display. Now, I'll put that back for now. Now, what you want to note is that the, the, the keyboard itself actually has all the functionalities you need without actually going all the way out of the, um, you know, the clamshell kind of uh, configuration. But if you want, if you're on the go and you want to grab this and just run out the house or um, you know do your rounds, you have the same functionality that you have on the keyboard. Just basically going back to the home screen, you can basically swipe through all your active programs. You have the same functionality. This is a full Windows 8 Pro um, UI, so we can go back. I'm oh, sorry, we can switch back and go home. Now, on the tablet itself, you have on the bottom side of the tablet, you have your uh, I guess this is the power jack. Now, you have basically the locks that docks with the keyboard on the right side, basically flush. Nothing except for this. You would notice that you do have the experience from the Galaxy Note. You'd be very familiar with the Galaxy um, with the Samsung S Pen. Now, going around to the top of the device, you have the vent, you have basically a um, uh, let's see, this port looks more like a SD card slot. We have um, uh, a USB, uh, I guess this is a USB 3.0, power button over here, and um, hmm, can't quite figure out what this is over here. Oh, auto rotate on and off. That's actually a very interesting button. Now you also have a 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack, and to the left of the device, you have the volume rocker and uh, a HDMI, or should I say a mini HDMI, um, I guess, connection over here. Now, I'll duck that back, and just two things to note about the device. Now, asking around, the device is slated for release on October 20, 26, which is about the same time Windows 8 is going to be released or announced. And this configuration you see right here, which is the i5 configuration, will, go, will basically put you back about $1,199. The i7 configuration will probably put you back about $1,399. Prices have not been confirmed yet, but we'll let you know after the beat. This is me, Sam, from BorderWork.com.